Catan is a game of skill, but there's also a strong element of luck. How do you deal with that luck and dominate the game? Well, you gotta know your odds. We're gonna go over them here on Legendary Tactics. I know you're busy, we'll get to the point. Can you see those dots on the circle-shaped tiles that are placed on top of the terrain hexes? You may not have noticed them, you may not have realized what they are. I'll get to that, but first let's take a quick step over here and talk numbers. When you roll two dice, there are 36 possible combinations that can come up. We figure out the odds based on that number. For example, how many ways can you roll a two? Only one way, if you roll snake eyes. Same thing with a 12. You can even swipe the dice around, there's still only one way. So your odds of rolling a 2 is 1 out of 36. So how many ways can you roll a 3? There are two ways. One if you roll a 2, 1. And another if you roll a 1, 2. So your odds of rolling a 3 are 2 out of 36. Same with 11. And so on and so forth. The most likely roll is 7 because there's so many combinations of ways you can roll it. So let's get back to those dots. If you've paid attention so far, perhaps you've already realized that the dots represent how many combinations you can roll those numbers out of 36. That's why the 2 and the 12 have one dot, the 11 and 3 have two dots, etc. Since 7 in the game moves the robber, the next best are 6 and 8. The designers have even helpfully colored them red so that you can spot them easily. So how do you know your best spots? Well, keeping the ports, specific goods, and stuff like that out of the equation, you can easily figure that out. When you're considering placing a settlement, simply add up the dots. The higher the number of dots, the better your odds overall that the dice are going to hit at least one of those numbers. But your odds are going to be significantly better here than, say, here. Or worst of all, here. Now here's where you have to pay attention. Understand that placing your settlement here actually has better odds of collecting resources than if you place it here. Add up those dots and make the most of your resource gathering. Now what about rolling that seven? Can you use this system to maximize the use of the robber? Sure can. Again, leaving all other things equal like ignoring times when you wanted to take down the leader or for example, mess with someone who wouldn't trade with you the math is easy. Simply add up the dots of the spaces that you're targeting and count the cities twice. Now I know what you're thinking, you're looking at space K, because space K is an 8. However, that there's only one settlement there, it's worth 5. Let's take a look at some other candidates. Next up is space Q. Now there's a city and a settlement on here. Q is worth two, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually a better space than space K, but we have another that we're gonna look at. Last, let's look at space J. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the space you want to hit if you want the maximum effectiveness. And that's it. Now you know the odds. Now you got the edge you need to dominate. Like, subscribe, join us next time here on Legendary Tactics.